My name is Marley and I'm going to be discussing crime rates in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque is home to endless culture, people, and opportunities. People are drawn from all over to experience our beautiful city. In an interview with Caitlin Bennett, a UNM student and current president of Pi Beta Phi sorority, she said that Albuquerque is not very safe compared to other cities. Our crime rates are too high and we never seem to have enough police for it. She also said that crime in Albuquerque makes it scary for me to go anywhere. I have been stalked, shot at, and harassed while peacefully walking around here. When asked how crime has affected those around her, she responded, Almost everyone I know in Albuquerque has been badly affected by crime. Most of the time it is related to theft or burglary. Usually people travel in pairs or, or groups around the city because they are too nervous to go alone. Crime rates in the city are alarmingly high. During the months of January through March of 2019, there were 2,234 reported auto burglaries and 408 aggravated assaults. The list continues on and on. There's no denying that these statistics are very alarming. When compared to the rest of New Mexico, Albuquerque is 76% higher in crime. Crime in Albuquerque is also 192% higher than the rest of the United States as a whole. To know how to decrease crime rates, we need to know what other major cities have done to succeed. New York City had extremely heavy crime until the 1990s. Violent crime had decreased by over 56% in the 90s. On the other hand, violent crime had only declined by 28% nationwide. Property crimes also declined. The decline at the time was roughly 65% while the nationwide decline was 26%. New York City was getting a handle on crime at a much higher rate compared to the rest of the United States. So what was New York doing right in the 90s? The city's law enforcement took a broken window approach. This method believes that people will continue to commit crimes until they are stopped, meaning crime must be stopped at a misdemeanor level before it reaches a serious crime. Unemployment rates also dropped in the city. Less young people were also living in the city. And there was also an increase in law enforcement at the time. We can use the same methods that brought success to New York City. The city of Albuquerque can increase the amount of law enforcement and how many police officers are on duty at one single time. The city can also increase the number of misdemeanor arrests being made because this will help implement the broken glass method into our law enforcement. The city can also continue to build itself outward and away from central, more crime-filled areas of Albuquerque. This will draw young adults out of the areas as well.